Dr. Plua, DNA sequencing we know is commonly utilized in modern oncology practice. Can you tell us though, some of the pitfalls of relying on DNA from a single biopsy specimen? So a couple of challenges with relying on uh, DNA from a single specimen. We know that there's remarkable heterogeneity um, in the mutational landscape of metastatic breast cancer. And so the biopsy site may not be representative of all the metastatic sites. Secondly, we encounter the issue in patients, particularly with bone-only metastases, which is a significant uh, patient population in the ER-positive patient, uh, that getting adequate tissue from a bone biopsy to do DNA sequencing is sometimes challenging. So could you then tell us about circulating tumor DNA and how this can potentially overcome some of these limitations? So, you know, the DNA from the tumor is shed into the circulation, which allows uh, sequencing. The sequencing is not as uh, broad as we see with tissue-based sequencing, um, but it can provide those critical biomarkers that may inform treatment decisions. How well do you think the circulating tumor DNA and tumor tissue DNA actually appear to correlate? So our study, our group has studied this and looked at uh, the correlation. And like other studies, um, it appears to be temporally related. So if the uh, liquid biopsy is performed in a relative proximity to the tissue biopsy, the re results are generally pretty concordant. However, as you would expect, as the tumor evolves over time and in response to treatment, further down the road, the liquid biopsy may generate different results than the previous tissue biopsy. So how do you think clinicians should select between these different sequencing strategies? So our, our preference is always to try and get a sequencing from a tissue biopsy if possible, just to get the broad robustness of that. Uh, but then as, as we progress through treatment and we want to uh, assess subsequent evolution of the tumor, then we tend to use liquid biopsy just for ease and avoidance of further tissue biopsies and the risk and discomfort associated with that. Well, do you think that there would be any settings that um, you can advocate that clinicians utilize both approaches or in conjunction? I think you, you could. Um, I think if you had a situation where uh, a single site was acting differently than the other metastatic sites, then and you couldn't get to that site with a, a tissue biopsy, then a liquid biopsy may be helpful to understand if there's something different or some different driver mutation in that particular site. Thank you very much, Dr. Pluard. Thank you.